Well, it isn't just residents dealing with outages. Several churches are without power for Easter Sunday. Cakes Ben Jordan shares how one Wichita church is making sure their services won't be in the dark. Ben? Mike, it's definitely not good timing for churches to lose power. Easter Sunday always draws one of the biggest crowds of the year, but members here at River Lawn Christian Community are doing what they can and putting in the hours to make sure they can celebrate under the same roof. Thursday night, the lights went out over these pews, and the church was told they wouldn't be back on until Monday. It would be easy for us to just kind of cancel and move on and start up next week once the power's back on. It's no wonder when you look across the street, dozens of down power poles stretching over a mile's distance. It's pretty crazy to see all the power lines down and stuff like that, and right across the street from us, so we got it pretty direct. Eli Bayless says that idea didn't last long because Easter only comes once a year. We got here probably 10, 30, 11 people started showing up this morning, um, and we spent, you know, a solid five hours bringing in generators and all that kind of stuff. Figuring out a game plan. The game plan included several members using hard hat lights to find their way, stringing Christmas lights on the stage and May lights along the walls. We brought in a little bit simpler PA system that we could run off of just one generator. Altogether, hundreds of feet of extension cords starting from the five generators throughout the building lined with lights strung from the ceiling tiles, hoping the congregation will provide the rest. We anticipate, you know, people are going to bring their phones and flashlights and whatever. It will be an Easter service like they've never seen before. Power isn't getting in the way of this congregation of 1,200 from spending it together under the same roof. It just doesn't matter as much as what it is we gather together to celebrate. I think this is going to be definitely the most memorable Easter service that we've ever had. Westar tells me many customers here along North Meridian near 235 should expect to have their power restored sometime between tomorrow afternoon and Monday afternoon. Reporting live in Northwest Wichita, Ben Jordan, Keg News.